a dream I know Deep up my feelings feel the National Association of University Students, Edo State Campus Monitoring Committee, has expressed dissatisfaction with the presidential address on nationwide protest by President Bola Tinubu. Moving on after this, we have the Edo State Governor, Godwin Obaseki, on Sunday said the hardship in the country is blamable on the policies of the federal government. For my wonderful people, stay too with us. I wouldn't want you to miss this wonderful news. But before we commence fully, I would like to welcome you back to my wonderful channel, Reality Letters Gist. Thank you so much for joining us on today's wonderful news. But if today is the first time of watching, can you subscribe, like, comment, share, but don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video to all amazing subscribers. Thank you so much for joining us. So guys, let's proceed. The National Association of University Students, Edo State Campus Monetary Committee, expressed dissatisfaction with the presidential address on nationwide protests by President Bola Tinubu, saying they unfortunately fell short in areas critical to the student committee that require immediate and comprehensive attention. So the chairman of the National Association of University Students, Comrade Osan Hoisusa, appreciated the president's recognition of the youth aspiration for a better and more progressive Nigeria. Said President Bola Metunubu administration's commitment to initiatives such as the student loan scheme, the digital and creative enterprises, and various infrastructure projects were commendable. He noted that these efforts reflect a vision for just and prosperous nation, aiming to provide peace, freedom, and meaningful livelihood for all Nigerians, including students. So, Comrade Esosa noted that despite this positive step, that the president's speech did not adequately address pressing concerns that significantly impact students. According to him, he said the issue of corruption, insecurity, and economic hardship continue to hinder the progress of the youth. So, he lamented that. The removal of fuel subsidy and the abolition of multiple foreign exchange systems have intensified the economic challenges faced by students who are already grappling with high unemployment rates and limited opportunities. He went further to say that the recent announcement by Nigeria Electricity Distribution Companies of a tariff hike is particularly alarming. Electricity is a fundamental necessity for students who rely on it for their studies and daily activities. Recently, some educational institutions have been forced to shut down due to their inability to manage the exorbitant bill from BEDC. So, it's crucial to address this issue urgently and reduce the recent hike in electricity tariffs to prevent further disruptions to the academic institution and the daily lives of students. Comrade Osamu said he's deeply saddened by the loss of lives during the protests and he extended his heart for your condolences to the affected families. He said it is essential to emphasize the need for peaceful dialogue and constructive engagement to address the root cause of this protest. Why they call to suspend protests for dialogue is noted. He said it is imperative that such dialogue results in tangible solutions that address the concern of the Nigerian people, including the student community. So right now, President Bola Metunubu's efforts to enhance fiscal policies boost non-oil productivity and reduce the country debt's burden are needed in the right direction so that these policies must be inclusive and beneficiary to the youth who represent the future of our nation. Initiatives like the Compressed Natural Gas Initiative and various youth empowerment programs must be effectively implemented and accessible to ensure they meet their intended goals. So my people, as they see the matter, people no grief for waiting press do talk <laughs> at all. That president's speech wasn't necessary though. He only provoked people's anger more. So guys, I would like to know your thoughts. Your contributions, your opinions are in our comment section. I would love to hear from you once again. Thank you so much for staying to us. Moving on to the next one. The Edo State Governor, Godwin Obasiki, said the hardship in the country is blamable on the policies of the federal government. This was as hunger protests in Edo State had a church service on the streets. That would have been small matter. So in Governor Godwin Obasiki's statement, he said that government had implemented several people-oriented program to reduce the suffering of Edo people in the wake of the difficult living condition which the people have had to endure, arising from various policies that had been implemented by the federal government. Governor Godwin Obasiki listed some of the programs to ameliorate the suffering of the people, to include raising the minimum wage for workers to 70000 to boost their purchasing power, introducing a free transport scheme along the route operated by the Edo City Transport Services. 
extending free Wi-Fi service to public space to help citizens telecommute and kick-starting a state-wide feeding for the vulnerable implemented in partnership with Christians and Muslim institutions, among others. Governor Kodun Basiki said the protest is obviously the result of the difficult living condition which Nigerians have had to endure, particularly over the last one year, arising from various policies that have been implemented by the federal government. These policies have taken a severe toll on citizens who have had to endure astronomical high food prices, high transportation costs, galloping inflation and loss of operating capital by small business owners across the country. In those states, they have taken several actions within their constitutional authority. Governor Godwin Abasiki has done that to reduce the suffering and hardship of the people by showing empathy and supporting the people to weather and survive this trying time. Despite the challenges witnessed across the nation, so it was rather that some protesters in the ongoing nationwide and bad governance protests continued their protests on Sunday and had a church service on the road as part of the church activities in the state. Some civil society organizations had on Saturday withdrawn from the protest, opting to wait for President Bulame Tunubu's nationwide broadcast on Sunday morning before deciding on their next line of action. At a whole junction on a Kenwa road where the church service head, the protesters sang and danced while praising God and calling for an end to bad governance. The protesters barricaded the road during the church service, restricting vehicle movement. So just in convoy, we are seen patrolling the major roads in the states with a view to clear any barricade placed by protesters. In the coordinator of a those state civil society organization, Aho Mobude said the protest was for 10 days and it will continue as the president failed to address the protesters' demand. Well, the civil society organization have already said that if President Bolamitu would do no work on the hardship the people are passing through that's the protest that is going to come up on first october is going to be worse than the one of august so president bolamay tunubu should implement the necessary policies that will ease the hardship of the citizens honestly <laughs> my flow is more better so because i would like to know your thoughts your contributions your opinions are in our comment section i would love to hear from you once again thank you so much for staying to us but if you haven't subscribed to our youtube page yet please do forget to like and subscribe and also share but don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i would drop our video to all our amazing subscribers thank you so much for joining us to all our viewers out there Thank you so much for joining us. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Till I come here when next. Stay safe, guys. Bye for now.